Finally, Curry's discoveries are beginning to convince others. On the basis of these new discoveries, we're beginning to have to shape and change our ideas on how large predators behaved. If they're operating as a group, if they're operating as a pack, uh, a group of Giganotosaurus, for example, may have been able to mob even a big specimen of Argentinosaurus, something no one suspected before. But for Phil Curry, this idea was more than a suspicion. It made perfect sense to him that the giant South American meat eaters preyed upon the huge long necks. He was convinced by their teeth. The teeth of the new animal are better adapted for going after really big dinosaurs like the long-necked plant eaters that lived in that region. Because if you look at the teeth, the teeth are very blade-like. They have serrations running down the front and the back, and the teeth themselves are very narrow and knife-like. This is a slicing tooth. This is a tooth designed to cut through meat. So this new form could bite and slice out big chunks of flesh. Long necks like Argentinosaurus had massive bones, impossible to crunch through. So the giant South American carnivores didn't even try. Instead, Curry believes they used their thin steak knife teeth to strip flesh from around the enormous bones. They were probably moving in to take quick bites, slicing off only the flesh and not biting very deep at all and then when they had an opportunity, they'd come in again and take another bite until the prey was weak enough that they could kill it. So when a group of these predators attacked together in a pack, even a huge Argentinosaurus was doomed. It looks like the clash of titans could really have happened after all. <laughs>